Hello my goodies, this is Raven again this week and sorry for not being doing anything for a week. My tooth decided to go insane and create another jaw for me, which is not a pleasant look might I add. And then I had an unlucky event, a bump in my head recently which caused me a lot of distress again. <laughs> anyway, um, nice to see you guys again. What I did prepare for you this time is I want to recommend you three books that I love and I'm in the process of reading but as much as I got through them right now I kind of know things about them and I wanted to share with you guys and show you bits of them a bit of a sneak peek inside of them and if you like them and if you're interested you can purchase them and none of these are expensive oh as well I forgot to say thank you so much for all the people that have supported me on YouTube, all the nice comments. Um, I didn't really expect that to happen for f at first, you know, but um, I thank you so much. You guys are really awesome. There's loads of people thanking me for the information and all that, but I, I thank you guys for supporting me and all that stuff. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, the first book that's really dear to me um, and I got it as a Christmas present last year um, if you're a big fan of Edgar Allan Poe do get this book I know maybe you have other books of Edgar Allan Poe in your library but this one is so classical looking and it's got such a nice finish to it and it's actually a collectible item even though it's not that expensive which makes it really cool as a present even maybe for Valentine's Day coming up close I know it's red <laughs> anyway this is the way it looks and I found this book well I've recently seen it in a different version of the cover in Eason's um, and there's other ones but this is a um, collection basically of Edgar Allan Poe's most known tales um, I know most of you know him for poems, you know, The Raven, you know, um, but um, these are short tales written by Edgar Allan Poe and they're amazing, as amazing as his poetry. Um, they're not as, some of them are not as well known, even though they're the most well known in the collection that were picked out. There's loads of them out there and if you're interested, this is like a great way to start reading Edgar Allan Poe's tales. Um, yeah, so this is called Tales of Mystery and Imagination and the illustrations are done by Harry Clark inside um, and this is just a hardcover but if you take the book out of it it's actually a hardcover book as well but in really classical style and it's red and black and the illustrations on the inside of the book are black and white mostly because well all of them actually um, I find that it's really classical the way it goes like that and um, you know, you can never go wrong with a book like this, even if you get it for yourself, you know, as a little selfish present. <laughs> but yeah, um, so it's a traditional volume. It's got a really classical look. Um, and it's got that feel of, of old looking books, old books, you know, the way old books used to be. Kind of like textile, you know, the texture of it is really kind of old fashioned. And even the paper that they use for it is not exactly perfectly pearly white. It's actually a bit kind of um, I think that they used a bit of a paper that was a bit towards the yellowish side, you know, kind of give the impression of an older book. And yeah, like the book's got illustrations all over. Um, it starts with an illustration um, and you've got I think 29 tales, yeah, 29 and the introduction is really good if you want to just glance at it even if you find it online because it actually gives you an idea of what this book is all about um yeah so harry clark from what i know he is um an art nouveau designer yeah so all his illustrations in the book are um related to the story itself obviously and they're amazing especially if you like in black and white art and it fits so well with every little chapter in this book um, I can just show you guys a little example um, 
and then you find something that would actually show nicely on camera. Anyway, so if you're, if you're into your black and white and your traditional art, um, but with a little bit of modern twist, you get this book. Um, so there's this short story that I personally love as well. It's called A Descent into the Maelstrom. And yeah, there's this drawing. Basically, it shows you the continuous torment that the story itself does about. But I'm not going to spoil it for any of you in case you want to go and read it out. If you haven't read it, obviously. Yeah, so this is the book itself. Um, do check it out. You can find it on eBay. You can find it in stores like Eason's if you're from Ireland and whatever else countries have Eason's as a bookstore. Um, it was retailing on eBay for $17.99 dollars. Um, in Eason's or on mine it was £14.99. So it's quite a bargain for a book this, uh, you know, fine detail and this type of a book is usually like over the 20 mark, you know, um, but some of them might be up to 50, so that's a great deal if you can get it somewhere, try it out. The new book um, has a different design here on the inside, so do check it out. It might be just the newest version of it, but uh, it still has the same contact, so if you're into that, you know, try it out. It's amazing, you could have a collection item in your library. So that's the first book I wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up. Um, yeah, the second book I love because mainly because of its artwork, and this is another present that I got. But obviously, I seen it beforehand, and I fell in love with it in the bookstore at first sight. <laughs> yeah, um, this one is called Monsters of Bestiary of the Bazaar, and it's really funky, greenish kind of a design on the cover and you got all the claws and faces of monsters in the entire world, mythology, history, whatever you want, you name it, they have it. Um, I love this book because it is an illustrated volume of the mythology of monsters from all across the world. It's a hardcover book as well. And the illustrations aren't just plain illustrations, they're actually famous paintings presented in a really glossy print and the quality of the paper is amazing and, and as well so it's another collector's item and um, I seen this book another one I'm going to talk to you a bit later about um, shared around Facebook by different uh, pages or people that love their horror because mainly if you're into um, imagery horror whatever you name it this book actually starts you with the basis of um, Knowing a bit of mythology about monsters, and um, it takes you throughout centuries, even to the point of understanding the psychology behind the fascination that we have nowadays with certain monsters um, and certain magical, fantastical creatures, obviously. And um, yeah, it's 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 really cool. Um, the illustrations are annotated at the end of every chapter for you guys that are interested in purchasing, you know, maybe prints of it because you love them. So it's well done. Um, so not only do you get an amazing book that when dealing with monsters in general, if you love the topic, uh, but you gain a little collection of art inside. Um, <laughs> and that takes you throughout the centuries on the topic of monsters and... Uh, mythological creatures and yeah if you love mythology if you love history if you love culture in general if you want to take a bit of a glance throughout the make it all clear for yourself how it evolved for us in general buy this book it's amazing um i'm gonna give you guys a little sample of an artwork from inside here and um let me see Maybe I should just get something for my favorite topic, which is dragons. <laughs> um, yeah. So you're going to get a glossy print, kind of like this, if you can tell. And the I've seen people uh, using this imagery in academia. I went to a symposium that was filled of people that were doing imagery and they were dealing and tackling monsters and it was amazing especially if you 
want to present something that that's not you know so talked about in general you know a, a subject that might be a bit taboo or different for people this book will help you kind of take a bit of a glance and then further your how may I say it you know research within this area so yeah um that's a bit of it there's glossy images inside obviously and uh, you got loads of demons. You got demons, you got dragons, you got devils, you've got everything you want to <laughs> find in a book. You've got even uh, gods mentioned. Um, uh, this is a classical one and I'm sure most of you guys might have seen this if you ever studied art or if you ever seen art throughout the history, throughout the centuries. Yeah, this is, this is Kronos. This and it's it's a well-known painting yeah Kronos eating, eating his own sons <sighs> page 23 yep it's by Goya well I did try it out anyway <laughs> it never hurts to double check um, this book was retailing for me in Eason's at £12.95 which is an amazing price again you can't go wrong and on Amazon you can find it for $13.25 so if you're ever into getting a book that has a bit of imagery to it a bit of refinement to your illustrations get this one it's amazing and you won't regret it because if you ever need a bit of a sample of an art form you know of a, of a painting sorry you can go to this regarding monsters and you know the bizarre um you can go to this and you can use them because it's your own property and it's not exactly like uh, stealing the artwork itself so yeah i think that when it comes to art you should totally invest a little bit it's, it's a good idea <laughs> and last but not least book which i definitely seen people interested on facebook and another social media and they were kind of going a bit insane about is Breverton's Phantasmagoria, which basically is a compendium of monsters, myths, and legends by Terry Breverton. Now, this book is kind of focused around uh, giving you information of random facts that basically they aren't everywhere, and I can tell you that they are interesting, even if you read them and if you're bored and you want to read something but not invest too much. Uh, and you know intellectually speaking you could just read this and you'll see hmm I never I never heard of this or I never found about this there's loads of horror movies uh, that I found random facts about here that were based on the real stories you know real things that might have happened and uh, this book definitely has it this book literally takes you through everything um, the way it is described on the back is from dragons, vampires, werewolves and fairies to flying carpets, lost cities and modern day mysteries, this delightful compendium, compendium sorry, of over 250 weird and wonderful legends, myths and monsters would entertain and astound anyone enthralled by the unknown. So there's nothing <laughs> you can say about this book in a bad manner than it's freaking amazing. Um, it retails for £9.99 because I wrote it down for you guys just so I don't... I actually checked it today. Um, I didn't want to make a mistake. I'm telling you the price. Mine was the same price at the back. Um, so basically what this book is, it's a good basic volume for those that want to pass from studying history and culture to more universal view of mythology and the strange itself. If you like your random facts as I just said and you want to just impress people by saying something like that, you know, or reading something out that you didn't know. I'm sure everybody knows the seven wonders of the world as it is here, but what I wanted to say with that little hint there is that you're, you have imagery in this as well, but they're smaller and it, it's kind of basic imagery. It does help um, a little, but it's very well described and um, it takes you through a lot of chapters and I was utterly surprised to find Vladin Paler or Vlad Tepish in this book, <laughs> Dracula itself. Uh, they do have facts, I did check them, I am Romanian after all, I should know my history. 
they are good facts about Vladi Impaler. Um, we had an article on the EGS about Vladi Impaler not too long ago, and um, yeah, I was personally responsible for reading that as well. So everything that comes from Romania, I can guarantee I will definitely tell you guys if they're authentic or not. <laughs> anyway, um, you've got a lot of chapters here. The chapter 1 is mysterious and magical weird people, for example, and chapter 6 might be strange artifacts, buildings, maps, and writings, um, mysteries of the deep, flying monsters, mysteries, odd happenings, strange sightings, legends, you got everything, you got your witches, you got your monsters, you got everything inside, you got your history, you got your mythology as well, there might be the odd mention of religion, Whatever you want, it's here, and I can guarantee you that you won't forget getting this little tiny book that will impress everybody, and um, I hope you guys will really check these all out. I enjoy reading bits of them. I don't want to read them as, you know, sitting down and reading a book from the beginning to the end, because these aren't that type of book. Some of them, well, Poe is a different story, but reading a um, little tale every once and again does kind of make you think of things, you know, reflect upon humanity. But um, these little books with facts and, and history, they're always enticing to me. And um, I think they're a good investment, they're a good idea of a present for somebody you know that's into that sort of stuff. So do check them out, please. And give me a heads up what you think about them, if you bought them, if you read them, if you've seen them somewhere, if you can't get your hands on them. Oh uh, yeah, I hope that's not going to happen if you're really looking to get them. But um, I'm looking to see what you guys think about this. And I think that's the end of our video for today about our, our little books. I promise I will get back to you uh, with more books if you're interested in this topic. I do, after all, hold a master's in literature and language. It's been my number one thing that I've done all my life. So I love books in general and I love my literature. So if you guys want to do this sort of thing, give me a heads up. Comment, like, subscribe to my channel. Try to get in contact with me and tell me what you think about it. Okay, guys, I hope you have a really nice time. See you all later. Bye.